Okay, so a bag contains six red marbles, and they are two, five, six, seven, eight, uh, ten, and four white uh, mob. Sorry, I guess they aren't marbles; they're balls. One, three, four, nine. If a bag is drawn, what is the probability that the ball is a red or even? So red, right? So red. There are six red balls, and there are four white. So six out of ten. Six out of ten are red or even. So how many of them are, are even? Two, six, eight, ten, and a four, right? So a four, so that's five of them out of ten are even. So five of them out of ten are even. Okay, right? We got two, six, eight, Of two, four, six, eight, and ten. Five are even. Yep. So we're good there. And how many of them are red? Six of them are red. So we're good. Except, how many of them are both? We're looking for both red and even because I have to get rid of those. So we have one, two, three, four. Four of those are red and even, so I gotta get rid of them. So six plus five is 11, 11 minus four is seven, so seven out of 10 is the correct answer to that problem. You gotta take out what they have in common. You have four red balls and you have six white balls, so we have a total of 10 balls. Oh, look, sorry, <laughs> didn't do the other one. The other one says, what's the probability of it being white? There are four white balls out of 10 or odd. We have 5, 7, um, and 9 is 3, there's 1, 2, 3, uh, 4, 5 out of 10, but how many are white and odd? So how many are both? Both white and odd. And there's 1, two, three of them. So we take three away out of ten. That is nine minus three is six out of ten, which I can take a two out of both of those and get three out of five. That's the answer. So now let's take a look at the next one. And the total is still ten. What's the probability of getting a red or odd? Well, red, there is four red. And there are how many odds? One, two, three, four, five, five odd. Now, how many of those are both red and odd? That's what I'm looking for here. Well, how many of them are red and odd? There's one, two, three, so I take three out of there. So we end up with six out of 10, which is three over five, simplified. Then the next one says white and even. Well, there are six of them out of ten that are white. And how many of them are even? We have um, one, two, three, four, five. And how many of them are both? Both white and even. So that's one, two, three, four out of 10, so 7 out of 10 is the correct answer for that one as well. So out of 100 students, 29 are taking calc, 33 are taking French, and 13 are taking both calculus and French. If a student is picked at random, what is the probability that the student is taking calculus or French? Well, uh, out of 100 students, okay, how many are taking calculus? 29. Or means addition. How many are taking French? 33. 100. You have to take away how many are doing both because they're being double counted, which is 13 out of 100. So 29 plus 33 minus 13. 49 out of 100 is what we have as the answer. 49 out of 100 is probably having someone who takes calc or French. Uh, we already did uh, the ball problem, so let's move on here. If you draw one card at random from a deck of 
15, right? Is that 15 cards? Yep. If you draw um, a card at random from a deck of 15 cards, what is the probability that the number you draw is divisible by 5? So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So it's divisible by 5. There's one that's divisible by time, five, two that's divisible by five, and three. It has to be divisible by five and even. Well, out of those three, which one's even? This one. So really, there's only one out of 15. There's only one out of 15 that is both divisible by five and even. And that's the 10. The probability for snow day is 0.6. The probability for snow day um, tomorrow is 0.4. The probability that it snows on both days is 0.1. So, and the probability of it snowing on at least one of the days, well, basically you add those two together and subtract that one. So 0.6 plus 0.4 is 1, minus 0.1 is 0.9, because you take out what they have that's the same, which is that. 0.48 today, 0.27 tomorrow, snows on both is 0.15, so you add those two together and take one, um, take what they both have in common away, so we add together 0.48 and 0.27 and we subtract 0.15, so we end up getting 0.6 as the answer. Eight balls number one through eight are placed in an urn. One ball is selected at random. Find the probability that it is not number six. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. It's a probability that's not number six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven out of eight. And it's not the number six. Okay. And we just did one like that. Okay, let's see here. A and B are two events. It's probably of A and B and A or B. Find the probability. We don't need to worry about that one either. So, all right. Well, I hope that helped with uh, some of the examples and some types of problems that you'll see in 12.4. The key here is remembering that or means addition is the key to these problems. If you have any further questions, um, look back through these examples and look through the notes, and I hope that that helps.